Hello my fellow Freedom Builders and welcome back to the channel. Now we have just started out on the market here in August 2021 and as always I like to give a little update on our performance and uh, several of you have asked about our algorithm performance. As you know we are running a couple of portfolios. Um, I have been running one on eToro and now we have the second uh, the portfolio in there, our ETF portfolio. Uh, that is the same portfolio that you can also receive uh, via email. Uh, those of you that receive that every month, our free strategy, but that is also available on eToro by now. I'll show you a bit more about this later. So in this video, I will be telling you about the performance of these two portfolios. They have been doing quite well over the summer. So let's have a look at them. First of all, this video is sponsored by, by our new sponsor, the NSB, the broker. There is a link to them in the description below. And um, that is very nice to have a sponsor on the video. It makes it so that I can put less uh, ads in the videos. So it should be in a way where you will not be interrupted by any uh, ads during this video. And you can thank NSB for that. They are making it worth my while to delete some of YouTube ads. So thank you to them. And I'll tell a bit more about that platform later in the video. First of all, let's have a look at the two portfolios, how they have been doing. Now, the first portfolio is the one that I have been running myself on my eToro. And let's just have a quick look at it here. As you can see, I'll just make sure that you can see at least most of the numbers here. Um, and this portfolio has been uh, outperforming the S&P 500 this year. As you can see here, it has been doing 22.8% here in 2021 uh, versus the S&P 500 only doing 17.8. Now, if you look at my eToro account, this is not the exact number and that is because this stock equity strategy, I only started uh, doing that on the eToro account on the 1st of April. So um, I cannot really mimic the 22.8%, but we have, if we're looking at the monthly returns, you can see here that in July, we made 4.9%, just short of 5%. We're a bit down. Uh, this was just yesterday, but today we are up. So I guess we are up something like 0.3% here for August by now. And uh, otherwise we've had quite a nice year for this equity. Uh, uh, algorithm here. It had a very good first quarter here. Let's just look at the quarterly results here. You can see first quarter, second quarter, and now third quarter is uh, starting out quite well as well. Uh, annualized, this strategy is making 25.8% in back test and real life trading. As you can see, we have 76% uh, of the quarters that are winning. And if we're looking at the monthly returns, it is 72.4% of the months uh, that are winning months. So altogether, a very, very solid strategy. And you can follow that in uh, on eToro under the market timer.dk. Now the second strategy uh, if we look at that here, you can see uh, it has not really outperformed the S&P 500, but that's not the entire plan with this strategy. This is an ETF based strategy. And if we take a look at it here, you can see it is it has been making 17 and a half percent since. Uh, well, it's actually since 2008, uh, even though you can only see since 2012 here. But a part of that is, of course, the very, very good 2020, where we had a stellar return compared to the market, also in the first quarter when the overall equity market crashed. Now, it is not really fair to compare it to the S&P 500 because there is so as uh, such a low volatility here. But that is an entirely uh, other story, as you can see here. On the quarterly, we had a negative quarter here in the beginning of the year, but then we've had two very nice quarters here. And for a very, uh, a very solid and conservative strategy, this is very nice, I think. Monthly returns also, you can see there are more red than they're green. This was the first quarter last year. Let's just have a look at that. Yes, we was in the negative minus 4% last year with the uh, COVID-19 crash. But then we have the second quarter that more than made up for that. So altogether, uh, we've had a very good year up until now. 
And uh, if some of you want to follow this ETF strategy, let's just have a look at here. In the eToro account, you should just search for invest like a guru if you are already a customer uh, with eToro. Then you can find invest like a guru, Liam Flavel here. And uh, as you can see, it is all ETFs here that uh, is mimicking the exact same strategy as you can follow on our investment newsletter. Um, but of course, as always, if you want to mimic the my uh, equity portfolio, uh, then you should find Market Timer DK. Now, if you are not signed up to eToro yet, uh, you can just do it by clicking the link below here. You can go into Invest Like a Guru. You can put in your email uh, and just sign up, and that will lead you through the process. So it is as simple as that. And um, yes, as I said, the strategy has been doing uh, very well here uh, in both uh, June and July here for the ETF strategy and in June and July here for the equity strategy, uh, doing a bit better than the S&P 500, um, to be honest here. So that's all about that update. Now, as for our sponsor, as I mentioned the other day, NSB is mostly focused on forex, currencies, some indices, some commodities and a few stocks. I will make some videos in the upcoming weeks and months about how to use it and also how I use uh, the trading in, in forex and commodities. I do some of that, but I've not really made many videos about that. But I will uh, make some videos here so you can see how I'm using the MT5 platform to trade uh, that. Now, when you're looking for a broker in this area, it is important that you choose a good one. They must be pure ECN, meaning that your trades are placed directly into the market so the broker cannot trade against you so that they are winning when you are losing. That is not a good relationship to have with your broker. So NSB, they are pure ECM, EC, uh, ECN. That is exactly how it should be done. And of course, there is a negative balance protection, meaning that if you're putting a thousand dollars into an account, you cannot lose more than that. There are some brokers in some obscure countries where you can actually lose a lot more than you put into your account. And that is not really nice when trading these high leverage trades. Um, they have uh, NSB have all the licenses, all the regulations you need under the MIFID, under the Spanish, French, Italian, German and Danish uh, governmental uh, agencies. They have all the regulations you need. So if you want to check out NSB, there is a link to them below. And as I said, they are sponsors on my videos making sure that we can cut down on the ads on these videos and give us a lot of opportunities to make new and nice content for you. That's all for today. Take care of yourself and your money out there. And uh, I'll get back to you shortly. Bye for now.